Hello everyone and welcome to AR Arena channel uh, In this video we will speak about how we can make a curtain panel Aluminium cladding in the elevation of uh, some buildings We will use some of the plugins that we can use it in Revit So uh, let's start We have a project with this elevation And we need to cover this wall with aluminium cladding or aluminium panels we will use uh, one of the plugins or add-ins its name is Tiny Facade Panel Tiny Facade Panel we can download it from um, the object we have here the Tiny System Solution and when you download make sure that you download the package related to the Revit because most of these packages according to the Archicad so we can install Steeny Facet 2021 or 20 according to the Revit that you have once you download it you can find it here and then it will be easy for the as a setup and once you set up uh, you can show it clearly in your add-ins uh, sometimes the problem uh, related to the setup and the program that he cannot read it in add-ins uh, because of he cannot read the path that he want so uh, this is very important because we try until make this work so if you open program data it should be hidden in your uh, PC but you can I already unhide here and from program data you will find here Steeny this is the default the default path that he set up but Revit not accepted Revit he need to accept program data Steeny and then 2021 and then the DLL file so just you can update in case of it will not show you in your Revit here so you can update this path by make a new folder 2021 and just copy the steeny facade panel dot dll file let's back again here and uh, let's see how we can make this panel first thing to use this application or we need to make a layer in the wall and he only use wall layers and I should have like 6 millimeter layer as a finish in the wall so if I open this wall this is like a basic wall from Revit and I go here edit so uh, let's see in the exterior side this finish I can add another one and make it as a finish and I made the thickness by 6 millimeter and I can put any categories regarding to this one even if I want to make as a new material and say like this is my cladding rename it anyway and then okay so the first thing now I made my panel maybe also here if we can make it as a photo color to make sure that we follow let's say as an example and differentiate it or oh he make it on the other side yeah so I think we flip this one by space he will flip the exterior side and let's try and do the sides to make this steeny panel and then I can open my application I can find here place panel he will just upgrade his models to 2020 okay let's move us here So as you can see he have this type of panel 
uh, it's like uh, three types bond horizontal shape vertical shape and the normal stacked vertical and horizontal and also you have here different type of the dimension uh, let's try if we use that one and the good thing that you have too much sizes here even you can create the size by your own by add size so let's say I will make for example uh, let's say 600 by 120 and then add to this project it's already in use yeah they have this size so okay let's try if I have like that one and if I back here I can find my size that I created also here this is the point that he when he will start his pattern in the wall if I will start from down left side if I need to centralize also I can add here colors may have three types of light color and vision at natural this is related to the company production and if the color if I need like matte semi matte or high close so let's like if we try for example I need three color and let's say someone more darker even you can add like this and as I can see here he give me like a equal not equal but the percentage regarding to how he will how he will use this color as a randomize here I can also control the percentage that I want and then after I finish all of this he told me like select the wall so I can select this one after I finish click OK let's say I will make it from upright So as I can see here now, he started to make the panel for all the elevation that I have. He also used randomize the color in case of if I need to change or if I need to update, it will be very easy to make all of this. For example, if I don't want to use this color and just also start again. Most this one. And that's back again to my rivet. And it's very easy to can again reselect any wall that I want, change the size that I need. For example, if I select now this wall and this one and let's say okay he will update it also regarding to the new arrangement that I make it for the colors uh, also one of the good things that it's um, can use in this program is related to placing of the drill pattern so if I click on that one and let's say create physical object and what the size that I need it or if I want to make it as a default and here he want to say like entire wall or selected panel but in this case I need to select all the wall so in this case I can select this one and that one and here click finish make sure that I make my create physical object and after this I can it's okay a little bit down it's very hard a little bit to use this one yeah I can find okay here click okay
and okay after loading now as I can see he give me the schedule of the type of the every panel and what the type of the drill that I used also if I can zoom in here and in this case if I make a zooming I can see now how to make the fixation of the drill it's very cool to be honest and also he can cut directly the sizes and the spaces for the wall or for any opening in the wall also I can control the spacing for this one if I come back here and back again to the place panel to see I can see here the gaps between panel here make it 5 millimeters so I can increase or decrease as I like also once I finish I can make update the list of the panels and from here if I back to the my project browser I can see here make for here schedule for all the panels regarding to what he do let it's back yes he can count here the widths and the sizes of the panels that already used and give all the information that I need regarding to this panel I use like four types of the colors regarding to the color that I used how many panels what the dimension regarding to this one and what the drill code that he already used to give me very quickly calculation also I can export this one to Excel uh, also even if I back again to my 3d view and if I need to make any changes regarding to the randomized color for this panel I can also click from here and randomize my color or if I want to use it as a manual at the end it can give you like a very quick solution to make a quick panel calculated with all area and it's very easy to extract in case of make any cost estimation I hope that you uh, find this video as a useful regarding to this facade panel uh, also you can uh, find our Instagram page AR Arena Design and thank you for your watching and see you in the next video